This is Amy Chan from CakeDecoratingSchool.com and if you like cake decorating, you're in the right place. Welcome to our flower series. In this video, we'll be piping buttercream daisies. The video itself will be broken down into segments so you can skip ahead, rewind, and rewatch as desired. So we're gonna be making two colors for our daisies today. You can make your daisies white if you want. I'm doing just a little color so it reads better on camera and I'm just gonna do a light pink. We're using our American style buttercream and I've got a little in my bowl and we're using three liquid gel colors, a little neon bright pink, some Buckeye Brown, and just a touch of lemon yellow. So to start with, I'm gonna make my pink and just gonna take just a few tiny little specks of that pink to just give myself a nice light pink color. And daisies do come in a range of colors, but that classic white is a great look, especially if you're doing a colored background on your cake. And we're still just a touch light. Just wanted to show up. There we go. So we have a nice light pink that's going to be perfect for our petals. Our second color is going to be our yellow for our centers. And I want to make kind of a golden yellow just to do something a little different. So I've got just a little bit of my buttercream down in the bowl. I'm going to use a few small specks of my lemon and just a tiny one of some brown. And this should give us a nice kind of golden harvest color yellow. So adding just that touch of brown will give it just a slightly different tint. And I like how this is looking. I'm just gonna add a tiny bit more yellow. And there we have a nice soft golden yellow. So it's gonna be a beautiful color for our centers along with that pink. So let's talk about the bags and tips we're gonna use for this flower. We have two 12 inch disposable decorating bags. I've just fitted them directly with the tips since this is the only thing we're doing. And for our petals, we're using a, there we go, 104. So just that classic straight petal tip, so useful for so many things like roses. And I've got my pink loaded up into that. And then for our centers, there we go. We're using a number five. So nice, big, round tip. If you don't have a five, try a four, six, or seven. Just something that's nice and large so you can get a great dot there in the center. And I've lo loaded that up with my golden yellow. So let's talk about the two techniques that we're gonna to use to create these daisies. The first are gonna be J-shaped petals that we're gonna make with our 104. And the second are gonna be dots that we'll make with our number five. So dots are a nice, easy one that we've done a lot of, but let's talk about the J-shaped petals. So when we do these, we're gonna hold the bag just a little bit differently. I'm gonna have the back end off towards three o'clock. The fat end is gonna to be towards the center of the flower nail, but it's not actually going to be resting in the center. So instead of having it right there at the center of the nail and pulling out and back like we do with the teardrop shape, we're actually gonna start with it out at the edge where we want our flower to start. And we're going to let some come out and then pull back. And so it's just a little subtle J-shaped motion, and that's gonna give us those wonderful little petals. We're gonna line them all up, go around in a circle, and together that's gonna make our daisy for us. For our centers, it's gonna be that same classic dot that we like to do, right? We're using our number five tip, same orientation that we typically take where we're doing a uh, straight up and down position in relation to the surface we're piping on. Right now it's our tray, later it's gonna be our flower nail but we wanna be up off the surface and that's gonna allow that frosting to connect and expand to a nice, full, big, beautiful dot. And then we'll stop squeezing and circle around to level it off on the top to give us a nice, beautiful, smooth surface. So there you can see the two techniques that we're gonna to use to make our daisies. So relatively simple and we'll combo them together for some beautiful flowers. 
So let's talk about how we put those two techniques together to build our blossoms. So the first thing we wanna imagine in the center is a central point. And you wanna pull that bag towards that central point each time. So we're gonna do our petals right next to each other. So close together, do one. And then depending on whether you're right-handed or left, I'm a righty, so I'm gonna to go to the right and do my next one. And it's gonna nest right underneath the one before, and we're just gonna go around in a circle. And every time we pull, we'll pull to that same central point. So we're gonna work our way around all the way back to the beginning. And the only important thing to remember is we're gonna have the bag kind of laying flat for most of it. And on that last one, when you do that last petal, you'll probably need to rock the back end of your bag up some to squish it in so you don't destroy the first petal. This will allow you to make a nice full daisy without any gaps between the petals and keep them looking really nice and sharp and keep you from having to redo things because you won't destroy that first petal. And then we're just gonna finish it off with our dot in the center. So don't worry too much if you have a little gap. If you do, that'll get covered up with the dot, right? So now that we've talked about this, let's pull out our flower nail and give it a practice. So I've grabbed one of my smaller flower nails because I don't wanna make my daisy too big. So I'm just gonna start on this outside edge and pull towards the center. So I find it easiest to line up kind of in a 12 o'clock position, right? If we're imagining a clock face, this would be 12 o'clock. And I'm starting towards this outside edge, let it go and pull towards the center. I'm just gonna rotate a tiny bit to do the next one. And you can see every time I pull, I'm going from that outside edge towards the center. And the amount of time that you pause on the outside will determine the width of your petals. So if you hold a little longer, you'll get fatter ones. If you pull back right away, you'll get skinnier ones. So you can make different kinds of daisies with different feel to them by varying that um, amount of time that you kind of pause on the outside edge to make your petals. And so for this last one, you can see if I try to lay flat, I'm gonna kind of knock in to the one before. So I've got it kind of up and I'm gonna pull up towards 12 o'clock at the end. It's kind of hard to do slowly um, to pull it back without disturbing that first petal. And that gives us a nice, beautiful look to our daisy. And then we are going to finish it off with a nice dot right there in the center. So nice and big, fill up that area. So super easy, beautiful flowers. I can transfer these over to a tray and easily chill them so that they're nice and firm and ready to place on my cakes or cupcakes. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like more about the cake decorating materials and equipment we use, or just some inspirational videos about cake decorating itself, you can follow us on Insta or YouTube at Cake Decorating School. If you'd like to know more about yearly membership and what it entails, you can go to www.cakedecoratingschool.com for more information. And if you're interested in these products, you can check the links in the description.